Check out the new look on the Jeep Liberty. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be installing some Jeep JK fender flares on the Jeep Liberty. We'll break down the details step-by-step step, how we installed these JK fender flares on the KJ. So let's get after it. Here's my plan of attack. I'm gonna start the flare, the fender flare here because I plan on putting rockers on the bottom and I don't believe I'll have enough fender flare to go all the way to the front. So therefore I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start somewhere like that. And I'm gonna try to run the flare straight up and probably try to section it out here. And then we'll have to try to bend the flare down. And I think that will give us more length if we start make our starting point at the bottom of the door. We'll cut all this fender out. We'll try to tuck the new fender flare in. Well, we got the fender flare mocked up. Don't know if I'm really feeling this fender flare or not. But it is gonna be a cheap mod if we get it to fit. My plan of attack is to try to shore this up a little bit. So I wanna maybe Cut in here and see if we can get this fender to flatten out a little. But we'll mark this as well so we kind of have a spot because I'm kind of digging this spot here. And the fender flare will sit in more once we cut the fender out. Mark here, cut there, flatten that out. Let's get cutting. Fender flare mounted on, locked up. We got a little gap back here, but I think if we cut maybe a little more section out, that we can get it to bend back further and then address this as well. Kind of got to get the fender flare to poop down a little. I'm really digging the look up here. That's looking real good.
is looking real good. We notched more of this out. We took that tack weld off, that fender flare. We're able to get it to bend almost the way we want it. We're gonna have that gap in here, but we plan on cutting the fender on the inside, this fender, to try to get that flare to go in. That's where we're sitting. Try to bend this up a little bit, throw a tack in there, and then we'll have that angle for angle set just perfect. Just so you guys know, it's not perfect. There's a little gap here, um, but you know what? For being a JK fender flare, I believe these are gonna look pretty good on the KJ. We got the fender mocked up again with our little tack weld and our notch out but i think right now we're gonna have to we're gonna just have to cut the fender because i'm just stuck here trying to get this angle so i'm gonna i'm gonna go for it and hack up that fender then we can try to fit the flare in after that Well, that's all the progress we'll make tonight, but I'm digging the look. The fender here, all the way up and through. It fits fairly well. And we just had to notch this out a little bit more. This is where we had, just had to cut our weld our tack weld there when we sectioned that out and I had to trim some more out to make that fit the curve. Right now we just have three self tapping screws in there and it holds well. Like we could drive it right now. But we'll finish up in the morning. We'll finish welding this, uh, you know, patch all this in and probably pull the fender back out, put some nut certs in the body here instead of those self tappers. And then down here will be a little ugly yet. It will probably trim some of this off, you know, go do a little, little spray here, cover that in and until we build the rock sliders on the Liberty. But for tonight, we'll call that good enough and we will finish that fender up in the morning. Or for you guys, in a couple seconds. Hey, it's the next day. We did a little bit more cutting and chopping on the fender flare. Let me catch you up to speed. So we didn't do anything up here. This is all how it was made. Back here is where we've done all the cutting, chopping, and just bending it back to fit the line of the Jeep. So just, we pied that out there, pushed it up. That's the section we cut out tacked it back in, had to put a slit in here, kind of bend it with the pry bar, and got that up into place, tack welded it there, 
Now I think we are good to maybe mark some holes. Thinking of marking a hole here. Um, yeah, a lot of these other ones don't touch. Maybe in there. Because uh, maybe that one's too far. So this doesn't sit flush all the way back into that inner fender, but it'll be good enough. And we'll have to cut all this up when we do the rocker, the rock sliders. So I think we'll have to make another hole here because um, we're gonna put some rib nuts to hold that fender up. Let me show you. So here's the instructions that came with those fender flares. And they gave us a tool in here. And we got these rivet nuts to go on the Jeep. So we'll drill some holes. 11 millimeter bit. We'll have to do some math on that one. Good thing we have Google. I don't know what 11 millimeter bit is. Hey, look at the install is only an hour, two hours. One to two people needed. How about one person in several hours? So let's mark the holes to mount this fender flare. We'll use these guys. When we have the fender flare out, we will, you know, finish welding all that to make it look pretty. Well, we got our five rib nuts in. The kit comes with a tool to install those rib nuts, but I purchased my own a while back on Amazon, and I did a whole video on that rev nut when we installed some off-road lights on our off-road car. I'll put that link up here. You guys can check that video out if you want more details on that rib nut tool. This guy. Yeah, that made that job pretty easy. Now we can see if the fender flare fits in its new location. The bolts provided are an eight millimeter. And if you buy this tool from Amazon, which I highly recommend, because that one is hot garbage. This uh, also comes with an eight millimeter, so these guys plop right in there. Plop. Well, we got the fender flare mounted. We got the five bolts in. I think I'm gonna have to add Maybe one back here. Fender flare kind of wants to twist on us back here. So I think we'll just uh, add a bolt in here and call it good. I call this side good enough. And now we will take it back off. We can clean it up a little bit and mock up the other side to do the driver's side. So let's do that. Let's take this one off. Work on the driver's side, clean them up, paint them, install them, and we're done with this project.
we go. We got the uh, driver's side fender flare cut up. And we got this little jig action going on. And I think we are ready to start tack welding these in. And then we'll put that plate in there and clean it up like we did the other one. Time to bust a welder out. Well, check this out. We have two fender flares that look identical. There we go. There's the driver's side, passenger side. Now we just gotta clean them up a little bit, hit them with some paint, and install them on the KJ. We did a couple more mods to these fender flares than I showed you in the video. We actually ended up deleting all the holes that were made for the JK. We welded those in using some uh, nails and oh, some clothes hangers, but it turned out pretty nice in there also we uh added one more bolt back here to try to level this fender out a little bit when we tighten this front one right up here we ended up pulling the back of the fender out we added this longer eight millimeter bolt in the back here and we had to go buy an inch long eight millimeter and a half inch round tube and cut that down to an inch for a spacer for that fender flare to be mounted. It turned out pretty well. To finish the fender flare up, we did do some caulking around where we cut the old fender out to mount these fender flares. I'm not really impressed with the caulk. Honestly, I'm not the best caulker. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like, subscribe, and share. And follow us along as we tackle the rear of the Jeep Liberty. Install the fender flares from the JK on the back wheel wells on this Jeep Liberty. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time.